Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my Friday Focus series, in which I apply the tenets of structural valuation analysis, that's SVA, to current stock and market conditions. My name is Ross Healy, and I am the chairman of Strategic Analysis Corporation, an investment advisory company with a very unique take on the investment process. Today, I want to ask a critical question. Are the Mag 7s, the Magnificent 7 stocks, losing their mojo? Now, I know that some of you may well be saying that the market is kind of mag to death. I mean, how much more do we care about what happens to those 7 plus 1 stocks? I always include Netflix as part of any review of those shares that I personally take. But as things sit right today, five of those stocks are right on the cusp of rendering key SVA market signals. That's a real rarity, particularly as two of those stocks might well be telling us something vital about what's going on in the whole artificial intelligence scene. <clears throat> so hang in with me. Let me get three of the MAG-7s out of the way. We'll take a quick look at Tesla, Alphabet, and Meta. So the first one is uh, Tesla. Here is that run that came Elon Musk's way thanks to his half billion dollar contribution to Donald Trump. And here he falls out of favor again, although the stock is kind of ratcheting up slowly there. This is an intriguing period here because he is rumored to have spent nearly a billion dollars buying back stock. Against that background, look at what's happening to the fair market value. Eh? This stock is getting more and more expensive. The second stock I want to take a look at briefly is Meta, which after years and years and years of being stuck below its bubble price, that's 7.4 times book, the stock actually managed to break out. But the action of that stock was very, very uncertain, and the stock is breaking back down again. The reason that this is intriguing is because if we look at another stock, Alphabet, we see the same kind of thing perhaps starting to firm up. That is to say, after 15 years of trading below its bubble price, Alphabet has finally managed to break out, and it certainly would appear to me that it is heading higher, at least to its HB1, and maybe even higher. Who knows? So, three different stories in motion. Tesla is all ego. The stock isn't telling me anything at all. Alphabet has broken out and is heading back to its very, very long-term high set 15 years ago, and Meta has really set the stage for Alphabet by moving up to its extreme high, also set 15 years ago. Now, two stocks are up at their SVA valuation peaks, and the first of those is Apple. It's up here at its HB8, that's 52 times book value, and that is the theoretical market valuation extreme within our math. Personally, I'd like to thank the market for its nice run, but I would head for higher ground. Amazon is another story altogether. Its valuation in price to book terms has been higher, but it needs to break out here. I suspect an interesting battle. Now, the three stocks that are most intriguing right now are Netflix, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. And those last two carry the weight of the outlook of the AI world on their shoulders, in my opinion. Well, we start with the Microsoft, which bottomed at its bubble price, as we had expected. It was doing very, very nicely, thanks to the AI revolution, if you like. But lately, the stock has pulled back to its HB1, that's nine and a half times book value, and it looks as if it might be breaking there. 
well, what does that say about what's going on in the AI world? And backing that up is NVIDIA, which is doing the same thing. Let's take a closer look here. It, too, has been riding its HB6. That's 33 times book value. And the question is now, as it pulls right back to that level, can it hold here? We don't know. But it will be saying something very interesting if it does not. And finally, of course, we get Netflix which has set back to its HB3, that's 16 times book value, and we'll be intrigued to see whether the stock will hold, although its earnings trend has been very, very strong. Now, why am I so interested in Microsoft and NVIDIA? The explosion of the AI movement has brought the world huge expenditures on server farms, but no one has a clue as to how profitable they will be, and indeed whether they have been massively overbuilt in the shorter term. Microsoft and NVIDIA are right in the middle of it all, and if the market starts to entertain doubts as to the shorter term growth and profitability, the downside of these stocks could be massive if history is to be believed. So these two stocks bear your close attention whether or not you have a single penny of your money in them or not. With that thought in mind, let me wish you a successful week in the markets, and I'll see you next Friday.